Hello everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a basic chemistry lab in survival Minecraft using simple chemistry. Unfortunately, this is going to be a fairly long video, but hopefully you can hold on and push through because all the information in this is key and really important. So first I'm going to open up Technic and the simple chemistry mod pack that we installed earlier. If you didn't already install this, then click the screen now. Okay, I'm in. So, I'm going to create a new single player world. I'm going to call it Chemistry Tutorial. And I'm going, just for the purpose of this video, to turn cheats on. And there is a seed that I found that I will put in the description below. Well, yeah. And it is this. And I'm going to be using this seed. You don't have to, but this seed is just like a really good starter world on this mod pack. You know, it has all the resources that you're going to need. Okay, so here's the spawn. And for the purpose of this video, I'm going to change it to peaceful. And now, let's go. I'll just be going to this ravine that I found. Just kind of go in the opposite direction that you were facing in the spawn. And now you should see it eventually. Oh, here it is. Alright, great. Okay, so this ravine has a lot of good stuff that you're gonna need you can see there's some copper, I think I saw some tin right there yeah lots of coal it's just chock full of all the things that you're gonna need in the basics of chemistry so I'm gonna gather all the resources and then show you everything that you need Alright, so I've gathered all the resources that I need, and here they are. You're going to need three sugar cane, one leather, 33 glass, 62 iron ingots, 58 oak wood planks, 65 cobblestone, 28 redstone, one diamond, three lead, one silver, four tin, 19 copper, a bucket, and some coal to power machines. So straight off the bat, get the first three items and go like this with the sugar cane and this with the paper and then the leather right there and you'll have a book. Then put it with a piece of glass and you'll get a chemist journal. This just like keeps a log of all the chemicals you discover. So next, let's make our chemical decomposer and synthesizer. So what we're gonna do, put 16 redstone in the bottom, fill up the sides with cobblestone, put all the iron there and all the wood there, and you'll get 16 pistons and take all the wood back. Then make two blocks of iron. Then surround the blocks of iron with pistons, and you will get two atomic manipulators. Now put redstone atomic manipulator like this and surround it with iron, and you will get a chemical decomposer. Now put the diamond on top of that, and put iron on the sides, actually switch the diamond and redstone, you'll have a chemical synthesizer. Whew, okay. Alright, so now we are going to make a leadstone flux duct, which is pretty much a wire. But yeah, here's how you make it. Of course, you're also going to need lead, and bam, there you go. Now, 
let's just get all of this because we're going to need all of it eventually. So, for this next one, which is the aqueous accumulator, we need two copper gears, a pneumatic servo, which I'm pretty sure is like this, yeah, and we need a basic machine frame, which is made of tin ingots and iron, well that makes a tin gear, and then surround that by glass and iron, yeah, and then here goes. Oh wait, no, 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 no. We also need a bucket. Okay, now put the copper gears on the sides, max servo on the bottom, machine frame in the center, and then glass on the two sides, aqueous accumulator. Whew. Okay, now for the steam dynamo, which will be our converter of water and coal to redstone flux, which powers the machines in mine chem. We need two copper gears. We need a redstone transmission coil. And I guess let me look at my notes. We also need Ooh, just copper and redstone. Oh, yeah. Okay. So arrange. Well, that was weird. Arrange everything like this, and you will have a steam dynamo. And yeah. Now for the microscope, make a glass pane. Okay, not that. Go like this to create two convex lenses and draw an H to make a concave lens. Now stack them all up like this to create a microscope lens. And then below that put one glass pane and all on the sides iron ingots and that will make a microscope. Finally, make a chest and put the two wood on top of each other to make a stick, put a cobblestone on top, or, yeah, to make a lever. And this is pretty much everything you need. You also need you know, a bucket, and let me go run and grab some water. Okay, so now here's where you're going to decide where your chemistry lab actually is. I'm just going to make it right here. So dig a one by three hole, put water in all of the, like the entire hole, put the aqueous accumulator in the center, and the steam dynamo on top. And the leadstone flux stacked on top, and yeah, make it go down like this, and then put the synthesizer there and the decomposer there, and then you can put the microscope wherever you want. It doesn't need to be powered, but I'm just gonna put it right there. Okay, so this is pretty much it. This is your basic chemistry lab in Survival Minecraft. So. Let, oh wait, I forgot one thing. Put the lever behind the steam dynamo. So now I will explain everything. So the aqueous accumulator pretty much just sucks up water from its surroundings. All of this orange are all outputs. So right now it can output anywhere. This one is the top one. Make sure that that is orange, but by default they are all active. And we don't really need to get into this, but this would be like how to control it, whether it is sucking up water or not. 
Yeah, and then the steam dynamo takes in some water from the aqueous accumulator. You'll see that it's already filled up. And then you're going to want to turn this redstone control to high. And that will make it so that the steam dynamo will only run when you have the lever turned on. So you are going to need some fuel for the steam dynamo to run. And yeah, so I'll just put in five for now. And the steam dynamo will produce a bunch of redstone flux. Right now it's not outputting anything, and it doesn't have any stored because it's not running. But then it will output it into this flux duct, which will transfer the energy into the decomposer and synthesizer. So right now they are both not powered because the steam dynamo isn't on, but everything begins when you flick that lever. You'll see that it will start filling up with steam, and it says it is outputting power right now, so you'll be able to see this filling up with redstone flux. So, once... I recommend that you turn the machine off whenever you are not using it because it will continue to eat up the coal. And if it has any redstone flux stored, in fact, let's keep it running until it stores some, it will keep that redstone flux stored, you know, but the steam will dissipate while you turn it off, but that doesn't really matter. Let's see if it's, yeah, it's storing power now. So I'm going to turn it off, which will, actually, let's finish up this piece of coal, yep. and then turn it off. The steam will dissipate, but it will keep that power stored. Well, so for the next thing, you are going to need this on, so throw in a lead ingot, and you will get 16 elemental lead. So, the final thing that we are going to need to make is put the chest there and surround it with this elemental lead and it will create a leaded chest. This will safely store radioactive chemicals and it makes it so they don't decay. So yeah, yeah, now I'll show you what to actually do. So, let's say we want to do something with this glass print. Let's put it in the microscope. So. Right now it is set to the chemical synthesis machine, so this is showing you how to create this using chemicals. So if you put six silicon dioxide in this arrangement in the chemical synthesizer, it will make a glass paint. So put your chemist journal in there and it will automatically save this recipe. Also, if you click on the chemical synthesis, it will switch to the decomposer. So if you put this in the decomposer, it will give you six silicon dioxide. So let's see what it'll do with a stick. It'll give you one piece of cellulose, or one molecule of cellulose, if you put it in the chemical decomposer. Also, there is only a 30% chance that this will happen. So in the chemical synthesis machine, well, I guess you can't synthesize it. It's coal. To create it, you just put a carbon, and when it, there's a 92% chance that if you put it in the decomposer, it will give 8 carbon. Surprisingly, the leadstone flux duct does do something, but I've experienced, like, in the past, it does not always give you something, and it gives you, like, one of these randomly. But you can't synthesize it, but you can decompose it. And that is really awesome, because this Minecam is not only compatible with vanilla, it's compatible with other things. Just having your, um, cam sternal there while you inspect something makes it want them. So you can see them all here. You click on them, and it will show you all of the recipes. So let's make some cellulose really fast. Just throw some sticks in there. And it didn't give anything because there's only a 30% chance that it would. And this is still receiving, well, it has some energy stored right now. Even though that is not running, so it's still going. So let's put some coal. 
there we have eight what, like atoms of carbon. Let's try dirt. Oh yeah, seems like the dirt doesn't do anything. Let's put the glass, some glass paints in there. It gives us a lot of silicon dioxide. Let's get half of that. I'm just kind of messing around right now. Okay, now at this point we're going to have to actually turn it on. Here it goes. And then using this, why don't we, well I'm going to want to inspect all of these really fast. Okay, we don't have to inspect pure elements because we don't know that they won't break down any further. So, now to synthesize things, you have to select something first. So let's say I want to make silicon dioxide. You click on it, and then you'll see it will say active silicon dioxide. So if you put it in there, it will automatically put in the recipe, and you just have to throw in some silicon and oxygen. And then you just like shift click, and it will give you more silicon dioxide. So let's say I want to make some glass panes. You click on that, you shift click it in, and then you put some silicon dioxide there, and you'll have more glass panes. So yeah, that is pretty much your chemistry lab. So hope you guys have fun exploring with that.